Welcome to an example of a mathematical proof using the method of proof by contrapositive. The form of the proof of if p then q by contrapositive is to assume not q, explain, 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 and therefore not p is true. To use the method of contrapositive, we prove the contrapositive, and since the contrapositive is logically equivalent to the original implication, the original implication that we're trying to prove is also true. As an example, we will prove for all integers a and b, if a plus b is odd, then a is odd or b is odd. The problem with trying a direct proof is that it is hard to separate a and b from knowing something about a plus b. On the other hand, if we know something about a and b separately, then combining them might give us information about a plus b. And now let's form the contrapositive. If the original statement in the form of if p then q is for all integers a and b, if a plus b is odd, then a is odd or b is odd, then the contrapositive in the form of if not q, then not p is for all integers a and b, if a and b are not odd, meaning even, then a plus b is not odd, meaning a plus b is even. Notice how when we negate a is odd or b is odd, we need to apply De Morgan's law, shown below, where the negation of p or q is logically equivalent to not p and not q. So when negating a is odd or b is odd, both odds change to evens and the or change to and. Thus, our proof will have the following format. We will let a and b be integers. We will assume that a and b are both even, have a bunch of explanation, and therefore a plus b is even. Here's the complete proof. We begin by letting a and b be integers. We assume that a and b are even. Let a equal 2k and b equal 2l for some integers k and l. Now a plus b is equal to 2k plus 2l. Notice the common factor of two. We can write a plus b as two times the quantity k plus l. Since k plus l is an integer, notice a plus b is two times an integer, and therefore a plus b is even, completing the proof by contrapositive. So because we proved the contrapositive, we know the original implication is also true, meaning for all integers a and b, if a plus b is odd, then a is odd or b is odd. I hope you found this helpful.